everybody, Nick from Arcade Hunters here again at Fun Spot 13. Now if you notice something very strange, they have actually taken down the wall that was right here and opened it up. They've also gotten rid of the golf simulators that they used to have here. Um, they won't be coming back so this is more open for the ACAM because um, for those of you that don't know, the third floor that we're on, this floor, is the ACAM Center and that's kind of like the golf center so there's some other things that go in there that don't qualify for ACAM. And downstairs, the lower two levels, those are all fun spots. So that's where you'll see some of the newer games and the ticket games. Now, one of the things that you'll notice, the marquees, the little pictures, the picture frames that used to be all up here along the wall are all gone. Now you're saying, what happened to all of them? Because, you know, Steve Weeby had one, Billy Mitchell had one, even Keith Apicary had one for his lowest score on Donkey Kong. Now let's walk over here and turn on the screen. Now, it's the interactive classic game scoreboard from Arcade and ACAM. So we can go to home and so it'll say browse scores, have your wall of fame, and the history of ACAM and Fun Spot. So this whole thing now that used to be all along the walls is now in this awesome little thing here. So we can go to the ACAM wall of fame. So it's got Andrew, uh, hopefully you, uh, you come tomorrow, you're on there, the speedrunning world record holder in uh, Super Mario Bros. You got Billy, Brian, Chris, big ups to Chris. There you have Don, Dwayne, there's Hank and Isaiah Triforce. And yes, all you have to do is punch it up. So it'll say, name Keith Abercary's from Woonsocket, Rhode Island. There's his picture. And it'll say local high scores, Donkey Kong Jr., world's lowest record at negative 400 points. So you click on this, and it'll give you all the information about the game. So it says made by Nintendo, 1982. It'll give you a screenshot, and it also gives you a little synopsis of it. And if they had a picture taken here, it will have the date when he got the world record and also a picture. So all this stuff, this is, you know, completely brand new. The guys here are going to be updating this. And there's just a ton of stuff. You can click here and you can read about the history of Fun Spot. This is actually the original Wear Sports Center that opened in 1952. And then they ended up buying this property and they moved it all up here. So all the stuff that kind of was in this little book, you can read all about it here at Fun Spot. So there you go. This is the new Wall of Fame at Fun Spot. Definitely come and check it out. It's just going to get bigger and better from here, guys. So, sorry for uh, Bananarama, and I'll be back soon with more videos.